This is the vat plate that works with the Grabo. So yes, it does work with both the DeWalt Grabo and the Pro Grabo and the Classic Grabo and the Nemo Grabo. It works with all of them. When you buy one, what's gonna show up is a box with this plate in it and you're gonna need to put a few things on it. You should also have three separate bags. One's gonna have a clip that goes on the back. One's gonna have your hold down hardware, so what holds the Grabo to the plate. And the next one is gonna have four little feet and two quarter inch NPT connectors, and I'll explain that in a minute. It'll also have 32 inches of quarter inch airline. Let's go ahead and put this thing together real quick. So to put it together, you're gonna to want a number two Phillips head bit on a screwdriver, preferably, a 9 16th open end wrench, and a 5 30 seconds Allen head. We're gonna start by installing the feet, which will be in the bag with your two quarter inch NPT connectors. On each corner, if you can call them that, of the bottom of the plate, you're gonna see a little hole that's just a starter hole. That's the position where your feet go. Now while we have it turned over, let's go ahead and open up the clip. This clip lets you hang this on a wall. The long piece right here goes on and it's installed right here with these two small half inch quarter 20 tapered head bolts. That's not a mouthful. Use your 5 30 seconds Allen key and just tighten that down. Now remember this is HDP, it's plastic. You do not want to snug this down like you're snugging it into metal. Just get it nice and snug and it'll hold for a very long time. Now this piece will get screwed on a wall or a brace or wherever you want it to. And it will slide right in there and hold your back plate and grabo nicely in a vertical position. Next up, we're going to open up the hold down bag or the bag that's got two bolts, two clips and two knobs. Go ahead and start those bolts in right here and right here. Also, if you have these around, they're handy not having to do that whole thing by hand. Now let's turn it over and take a look at the front side or top side. If you're gonna be using this with the Grabo, these clips get installed on the bolt and then the knob goes over the top. If you're gonna be using it with the DeWalt, you don't need to install these clips, just put the knobs directly on the bolts. If you're not familiar with these, this is a quarter inch NPT thread, just like the threading on a traditional air fitting like this. On the other side here, we have a quarter inch push connect fitting. So your airline just gets pushed in and that's all you have to do. You're connected and that's airtight. If you wanna remove the airline from the push fitting, just give a little gentle pressure forward on the airline and then pull down on the connection and it pops right out. Just like that. So now let's install this on the front of the back plate. And to tighten that down, you'll use your 9 16 wrench. You don't need to over tighten it just so it's snug and flush up against the plastic. And we did include a second push connection fitting so you can start attaching it to things right away.